Well, with four high school graduation ceremonies scheduled for tomorrow at the Frank Irwin Center downtown, TxDOT is telling drivers to steer clear of Interstate 35. TxDOT's Brittany Glass joins us live from where changes on the interstate will cause backups and traffic delays for the foreseeable future. Robert, Sydney, TxDOT says they're confident this change is necessary, but they're not sugarcoating it. They're flat out discouraging travel along this part of I-35. Now the shift begins tonight here with the closing of the St. John's Avenue Bridge. The bulk of the frustration though is expected to begin tomorrow night. If your weekend plans don't include sitting in traffic on I-35, TxDOT has some advice. Plan ahead and find another route to your destination. It's all thanks to a construction project aimed at improving I-35 from Runberg Lane to US 290 East. The project will add three new flyovers at the US 183 and I-35 interchange. It will also improve the existing northbound I-35 to northbound US 183 flyover. Improvements that will require significant closures. Traffic will drop to two lanes in each direction, north and southbound on I-35, both on the existing northbound side of the highway. There is no doubt about it. This traffic shift will be a challenge. All that and a long-term closure of the St. John's Avenue Bridge that will remain closed through late summer. We're expanding the lanes under St. John's, right? And so what you'll have at the end of the day is much, much better, much nicer uh, bridge. And then you'll also have turnarounds in both directions. Austin police expect traffic bottlenecks on the frontage roads at both I-35 and 183 and I-35 and St. John's. In case of any issues, APD is fully staffed in the area to help minimize delays. Find another route. Don't get caught up in this if you don't absolutely have to. Police say TxDOT also hired off-duty officers to work traffic control. Tow trucks and hero trucks will also be in the area to respond to any stalled vehicles. Reporting in Central Austin, Brittany Glass, KXAN News. Congestion on I-35 got the attention of state lawmakers. Unfortunately, they didn't make changes to help with traffic during the session that just wrapped up. Democratic Senator Kirk Watson introduced a package of bills to fund projects on I-35 in Travis County, but none of them passed.